Hello, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for The Collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please, leave what does not. Wisdom here. Wisdom. It takes time to gain wisdom. Wisdom is not something that you can force or something that you can rush. Time is what is how your wisdom is gained. Okay? So this is somebody that's seeing the truth about something. Or they've gained knowledge on something here. You got gossip here. I had gossip in my last reading. Somebody knows the truth about something, okay? They know the truth, and it doesn't matter what this person says. It does not matter at all what this person says. As you can see, there's two other people in this card. They don't believe nothing this person in the middle is saying. They don't believe nothing that they're saying because they have wisdom. Somebody, Somebody's gossip is not working. I'm going to say it like that because people know the truth. And if people know the truth, what is gossip? It's just nothing. Okay? You got miracle here. Something may happen here with this gossiping person. I got miracle in my last reading too. Something may happen with this gossiping person here. It says completion. You see what I'm saying? I feel like somebody is about to be released from something. Like somebody may have tried to stir the pot in some kind of way. But people know the truth here. And there's going to be something that happens here that's very unexpected here. And it's going to completely wrap up. Maybe this gossiping person is going to completely wrap it up. It's going to be a thing of the past here. Something is going to step in. I'm even getting the energy of like divine intervention here. Like this person don't know who they're talking about, basically. They don't know who, what kind of power they're messing with when they, when they speak on this name. Okay. I'm strongly getting that here. And we got destiny. Okay? This is definitely... I'm seeing two different sides here. I'm seeing somebody that is moving forward. And I'm seeing somebody that is not moving forward. Okay? Like somebody is finished. And for somebody else, this situation is finished. But there's more to learn here. Because I got this destiny card here. Okay, let me get something under wisdom here. You got facade here. Okay, maybe seeing through something. Seeing through something that seemed real, but it wasn't. Okay, because in this car, you can see through this these people. You can see the clouds through them. It's not real. It may have been a dream. It may have been something that was passing. It may have been something that just clearly was not real and you thought it was real. But now you have wisdom behind it. It's not confusing. It's not elusive to you. Hold up. It says workaholic and that fell under gossip. Somebody is doing way too much. Somebody is talking way too much smack. Somebody's gossiping way too much. Somebody's lying too much. Somebody has made this their job. Like to just gossip. Like a Wendy Williams type person. Like just gossiping, just always talking about somebody, just always in somebody's business, always trying to break something down, always trying to destroy something with their, their word here, okay? And that's why this miracle is going to happen and shake things up. This miracle is coming out as a miracle, but I'm feeling something that's going to shake it up because it goes from miracle to completion. And this person is in the grave here and nothing is out here by random. You got joy here. And it's two yellow cards here. This is something that I feel like is going to bring happiness. Whatever this miracle, whatever this change is going to be, is going to bring happiness. And I think that it's going to stop this person that's gossiping. Because like I said, they don't know who they're messing with. 444 four, four on the clock. They don't know who they're talking about. They don't know who they're messing with. But somebody here knows the truth. Somebody here has wisdom here. Somebody here has ancient knowledge here. That's definitely high priestess energy. We definitely got hierophant energy here. 
We definitely got um, Hermit energy here. Okay. We got Acceptance here. And that's very interesting. That's very, very interesting here for it to come out under completion. Because I'm feeling like it may be even, let's say, a bittersweet energy here. Somebody needs to accept that something is over. Something is done. Okay? I really think that something is going to stop this gossiping person. Something is going to stop it. Something is going to stop it. I don't know what it is, but it's definitely going to be a miracle. It definitely is. And when this happens, somebody really needs to accept this and see the, see the reasons behind this. That's the only way somebody can really accept it. Okay? That something is over here. Because I feel like it's like somebody that's not there anymore. You see how this person, like they cut a piece of pie, but there's somebody behind them like a spirit. It's like they've accepted that they've lost somebody, but they're still acknowledging something. Or I guess in this, in this depiction, I guess they haven't necessarily accepted because they're still missing. They're still, you know, wanting to, you know, do things as if this person is here and this person is not going to be there. They're not going to be there. And it says forgiveness here. I really feel like this is something that's not going to be able to be stopped here. I really feel like this is going to release somebody from something. Maybe some type of prison or imprisonment. Um, I really feel like this gossiping person, this person that's working overtime on trying to destroy somebody. I really feel like they're going to destroy themselves here. Okay. But I really think that this is to this is so that you can be released and you can be free here because I see this acceptance and this forgiveness here. And it's like it is an energy of letting go and surrendering and just moving forward onto your destiny here, which you have right here. This destiny energy moving on to your abundance here, moving on to your abundance. And in this abundance card, it looks like what is lost is going to be found here. It looks like a transfer of energy here. Something is going to happen. There's going to be some type of transfer of energy. I don't know exactly what that means. You got rejection here. Maybe somebody's going to try to stop that. But that's, or maybe that is what they were trying to stop. Maybe it was them that rejected you. And they tried to stop your abundance. And now they're not going to be able to block it. Or now they're not going to be able to have any effect on you or your abundance. Everything that they're going to lose, you're going to gain. You got the six of, of wands out here first. Everything that they lose, that you're going to gain that. You're going to gain it. You got the five of pentacles here. This is the energy of somebody that is at some type of loss. Maybe it's their health. Maybe it's their money. Somebody is like overcoming them. Overcoming their energy. Okay. Overcoming, let's say, poverty. Somebody is going to like come out of all of this. I don't know what it is that this person was blocking with their gossip or whatever they were saying or whatever they were lying about or what they were trying to keep up. But anything that was blocked from you is about to be yours. Somebody is about to be acknowledged and they're about to be successful here. Okay? Somebody is definitely about to be recover from any type of lack here. And then you got the five of swords out here. Somebody's going to be like... This is somebody that is overcoming financial blockages and this gossiping energy, this conflicting energy here, okay? Even if this was like some type of abusive relationship here, it's like I'm seeing somebody that's completely overcoming all of this. They are going beyond this. You got another Five of Swords. When, this, when that thing say work, workaholic, okay, and this is gossip, I'm trying to tell you, they were making, they were blocking you. They were blocking your abundance. You could not make no money under this person or near this person here. Somebody had to get wisdom about this. Somebody had to come to terms with this, okay? Somebody had to accept this, that this person was blocking you. 
is just very strong in these readings. And then you got the Hierophant, somebody stepping into their power here. Somebody was keeping you from your own integrity here. Somebody was keeping you from your own, like, lessons about life and your own wisdom, okay? This person was not trying to give you any type of commitment here. They were not trying to be there for you. They were not trying to give you anything. They were keeping you at a poverty level here. And your abundance was always waiting. Your abundance was always within you. Okay, and even if this has to do with some type of spirituality or some type of life lessons here, okay, this person was trying to hold you back. You got this Knight of Pentacles here, which is somebody that's moving towards their, like, whatever they're creating, they're doing the work, okay? They're really doing the work, slow and steady, okay? Somebody is working really, really hard here. It's a very, very productive energy here with this Six of Wands and this Knight of Pentacles here. Okay, somebody is moving towards the goal. Somebody has like understood their energy and they're moving forward successfully like uh, as a winner. Okay, because they really worked hard for this. And it went from the Knight of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. Somebody grew. Somebody grew. And that's why they have to be unlocked from this Five of Pentacles energy. They cannot be in a five of pen. It doesn't make any sense. Somebody overcame something in order to be abundant here. This they can't stay in this energy. Somebody has to go. This this energy right here is blocking you from your abundance. That is the biggest thing that I'm seeing here, and I've been seeing. You got the star energy out here. You see? I got this same kind of energy in my last reading. You cannot send energetic attacks to a chosen one. They will go right back. This person was really putting in overtime, though. This person was really working at your energy, okay, to make you, let's say, not believe in yourself, to make you not move forward here, to make you feel like you need them or that you're not going to grow without them. They were keeping you from your own, like, self, uh, yourself, like a spiritual power, Okay, keeping you from, it's like an authority that we have within ourselves. You were giving that power away. Okay, this Queen of Swords energy here underneath this Five of Swords, I really feel like somebody got tired of this. Somebody had to switch that light. You know what I'm saying? They went from the Star energy to the Queen of Swords energy here. Somebody, either this is a protector, either this is a spirit guide, or this is somebody that said, I'm not taking this shit no more. I'm not going through this no more. I'm not dealing with this no more. Okay, you got two five of sword out here. That's ten sword. That's like them, like making this terrible for somebody. Okay, making things so much harder, making things confusing, lying even. Okay, let me get something under this hierophant card. You got the sun card. This is everything that they were blocking you from. This is everything they wanted to keep from you. This Queen of Swords with this Five of Swords energy is just very like, it's very, this person really attacks you with words or this person really tries to like attack you with some type of information or they try to attack your character here. They try to like pin things on you or something. Like something with this Five of Swords energy, this Queen of Swords, this is not very nice energy. This is not, this is like even sneakiness here, okay? Winning at all costs here, competition here, okay? But they're competing with a chosen one. You cannot compete with a chosen one. The chosen one is going to find themselves. We don't always know our power. We don't always know our ability, but when we become aware of them, it is our responsibility to make certain changes, okay? And that is exactly what I am seeing. I feel like this person that is gossiping over time there's something that's going to happen that's going to stop them from doing it, okay? Whatever they're putting out there, whatever lies they're putting out there, that's all about to end because somebody has a whole destiny that they need to get to, okay? Let me get something underneath these. Hold on. Let me get something under this Knight of Pentacles here.
You got the Ten of Pentacles. I'm telling you, somebody is meant to be very successful here. And I feel like somebody was holding them back. But somebody has become wise or needs to become wise about this fakeness or this facade. Whatever it is that's not real, that's not actually helping you. It's like it's a fake safety blanket. It's like you don't even need it. You really don't need it. You probably just want it, but you don't need it. Somebody needs to become aware of that. That they don't need this. That they have their own abundance that they're working towards. That they can be successful on their own here. Okay? Especially if it's something that's fake. You don't need that. What help is that? That's not help. Okay? You got the Six of Pentacles. A man underneath the Queen of Pentacles. Okay? And the card above that is the Five of Pentacles. It goes from the Five of Pentacles to the Six. Somebody is going to be unblocked. They just have to do the work. Okay? If you have already left this situation, it's going to take a little work to get there. But somebody is destined to succeed here. Somebody is not going to be blocked no more. Somebody really tried to block a star energy here. But this star energy deserves something equal. They deserve what they have given. Everything they have given, they have not gotten it back. And that's why somebody is leaving a situation. And they're going to get what they deserve here. Let me get something under this star energy. This exalted one. Somebody also needs to have faith. Okay? And do not fear. You got this three of swords energy here. This is a truth that has come out. This is something that cannot be stopped. No matter what, time, what kind of conflict they try to put in front of you, this is something that cannot be stopped here. I know that this energy was also trying to break you. This energy was trying to make you not believe in yourself. This energy was trying to create heartbreak and suffering in you. Any type of emotional pain here. They were trying to break you. They did not want you to shine. They did not want you to be who you are, but you are who you are. Let me get something under this Queen of Swords energy. Underneath this Queen of Swords, you got the Nine of Swords here. It's like they just can't defeat. They can't win. They will not win. They're always going to have this anxiety and this depression. They're always going to be worried about this. They're always going to be thinking about this. They cannot overcome this. This is chosen one energy here. If they try to stand in your way, something is going to completely block them. Okay? Something is going to completely stop them. Because I can't forget, I got that miracle card. And miracle is like the tower energy. That's like when you have divine intervention. Okay? Let me get something under this sun card here. They are not going to be able to win in this situation here. They're just not. Not with this star energy right in the middle of this reading. They're just not going to be able to win here. And you got the Knight of Cups here underneath the sun, underneath the Hierophant. And that is moving forward in your creative endeavors. Moving forward with your heart full. You know what I'm saying? Moving forward in love here. Somebody really wanted to break you. Somebody put like literally obstacles in front of you to stop you from becoming who you are or to stop you from seeing who you really are. They wanted, it's like they want to judge who you are. With this Queen of Sword and the Sun next to that, they want to judge your true nature. They want to judge who you really are. And that's unnecessary. Why would you want to break somebody down? Why would you want to break somebody's character? This is why you're overcoming this. This is why you became aware of this fake person or this fake friend. And there's something that's going to stop this. There's something that's going to interject. Okay? Yeah, I don't know where it's going to come from. The Seven of Cups here. I don't know what direction is going to come. But I'm telling you, something is going to come that's going to release somebody from a situation here. Or that's going to completely stop the situation like completely let me get a few of these um oracle cards here you got deep quiet meditation and stillness here and that's why i say somebody needs to stop not worry it says drifter experiencing life as it comes somebody once again somebody needs to absolutely not worry about this energy if this energy has already blocked you and you have gotten wise about this and you have gotten wisdom about this and you have moved on, you don't need to do nothing other than that. Well, you need to protect yourself energetically, but this person cannot block you anymore once they are out of your energy here. Okay, there will be nothing they can do to steer this boat. This sail is going to steer this boat. Spirit is going to steer your boat. 
All you need to do is you need to cleanse yourself. You need to meditate. You need to pray. You need to keep moving forward. You need to keep breaking these curses because this person really tried to stand in front of your abundance here. They really tried to reject you here. And that's interesting. You see this rejection card is here. They really tried to reject you and try to make you feel like you were not abundant or that something was wrong with you. And that's not the case here. If you got the Sun card here and you got Hierophant and you got the Knight of Cups, there was nothing wrong with you. You were exactly who you were. You were exactly who you were supposed to be. Okay? You were in line with your integrity, with you, who you are. And this person could not take that. This person could not deal with that. They could not deal with the fact that you was a star here. Okay? They could not deal with the fact that you were going to succeed anyway. And this says, many masks, the authentic self, like I said. Okay? Somebody here was their authentic self and somebody could not take that. And somebody got wise about that and they saw it for what it was and they left the situation. And whoever this was that was gossiping and shit like that, I don't know what's going to happen to them, but there's going to be what you call a quote-unquote miracle where this complete and total thing is dismantled and it's going to be completely stopped. It's going to be a rest. It's going to stop. It's not going to be no more. And that can manifest in many different ways. Sometimes it's a death. Sometimes people just lose things that make them shut up. But I'm going to leave it right there. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I really, really appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later.